any planet capable of supporting life will do so. The solar system formed about 4.6 billion years ago. The infant Earth had hardly cooled when, at least 4.1 billion years ago, life stirred in the depths. When life arrived, it was very hard to get rid of. If life had a motto, it would be, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. By 3.7 billion years ago, there were mighty reefs of stromatolites, vast colonies of bacteria. At 2.5 billion, life contended with its first crisis. This was the arrival in the atmosphere of a deadly poison, oxygen. oxygen. And an ice age that covered the entire planet in ice for 300 million years, life rose to the challenge. Bacteria, already used to communal living, took this to the next level with a new integrated entity, the nucleated cell. This step change in complexity allowed life to do much more with less. With less. Over the next billion years, Nucleated cells started to form simple multicellular life forms, seaweeds, fungi, but it took another global ice age around 700 million years ago to prompt life into another response. This was the evolution of complex animal life. The Cambrian explosion around 540 million years ago saw the evolution of most kinds of animals we're familiar with today, including the earliest fishes. 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 Life swarmed in the sea and, not much later, colonised the bare land. Plants started it, insects swarmed in their wake, and sometime before 360 million years ago, fish followed, seeking a new watery realm in which water was of negative depth. Forests flourished, absorbing so much carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, that they sparked another ice age. Forests collapsed into desert. Life rose to the challenge of dryness with tough, resistant seeds and eggs, each won the private pond for an animal that had once been a fish. Life already in dire straits almost succumbed during the toxic eruptions of supervolcanoes around 250 million years ago. Again, it bounced back, even stronger than before, with a welter of reptiles, mammals and dinosaurs. One sixty million years on, Dinosaurs were swept away by an asteroid impact and mammals filled the gap. After a spike of warmth about 50 million years ago in which the Earth was a jungle planet, the planet dried and cooled into another ice age the one in which we humans emerged. emerged. But humans will soon be gone, as will the current ice age. The earth will still move, but the planet is aging. Soon, the titanic forces that drive continental drift on which life ultimately depends will cease. In a billion years from now, the last life on Earth will wither and die.